What's this guy doing? Okay. It's going so awkward. Sorry, it's bad. Hi guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Salmon and today's um, oh, today I'm going to be doing a mock test with Ariel. How are you feeling this morning? I'm a bit nervous, but I think I'll get through it. Now, how many hours of driving lessons or how many hours of practice I've done have you about 30 hours. Oh, okay, 30. Yeah. yeah, Ariel was telling me about her experience with her instructors. There's been quite a few but it's just because cars messed up and yeah. availability and things like that. I wouldn't want to do, do lessons at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, so your test is coming up. Yeah. Um, have you done a mock test before? No, oh yeah, but not really, not fully independent. Not fully, okay. And um, in terms of your practice, have you always been practicing with an instructor or with yeah. family as well? Just in shop time. Just with an instructor. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. So you know how the mock test is going to be carried out. You know what to kind of expect. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you a little bit? Okay. Yeah. So throughout the drive, just follow the road ahead. Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you. I'm going to get you to carry out a bit of independent driving, which is why I'm going to give you a series of directions to follow. Okay. okay. Uh, we're going to do one maneuver. We may also carry out the emergency stop, similar to everything you've been practicing with your instructor. Yeah. Now, before we get started, I am going to ask you a question about your vehicle, okay. okay? Could you tell me, how would you switch on your fog lights and when would you use them? Um, you turn the ignition on. Okay. And you find the fog lights, I think they're down here. Okay. And then you use them when you can't see past... I'm not fully sure. When you can't see, yeah, basically. when visibility yeah. is okay, that's fine. It's normally when visibility is less than a hundred okay. meters, that's what you have to say. All right, okay, for anyone that is new to watching these videos, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. So, you ready to get started? Yes, okay, so whenever you're ready, let's start the engine and we're gonna make our way out of the car park. Okay. You can head off towards the right. Do that right. <laughs> okay. Bite me. Okay. There you go. Okay, now at the end of this road, when we get to the gate, we're going to turn right. Approaching this left turn, Ariel does signal too early. She signals as soon as I've given her the instruction. Make sure to look for gaps in the houses and trees and even look for road marking. On this occasion, it does not go down as a fault. and park up on the left somewhere safe.
Thank you. Drive off when you're ready. With just 30 hours of driving experience and Ariel's never done a mock test before, she is doing really well. She's always sticking to her mirror, signal and manoeuvre routine. This way she never approaches a junction too fast. for a mini roundabout but it was actually a, just a roundabout uh, the mini ones are always painted it's not safe to drive up to the speed limit on this road as the road is fairly narrow and there are lots of parked vehicles and it's raining so always consider the weather when deciding a safe speed according to the traffic and road conditions at the end turn left please using really good clutch control to peep and creep out of this position. When moving out of a junction like this, when you know you're hidden or you can't see the road clearly as there are lots of parked vehicles, expect someone's already there and slowly edge forward until you know it's clear. That way you'll never have an issue. dealt with this meeting situation really well. Everything was happening at the same time, she slowed down and moved out of the way where there was space and then checked her mirrors towards the right before moving into the road again. Always check your mirrors as motorbikes and cyclists may catch up and try and filter through or a vehicle behind you may not realise that you're giving way so check your mirrors before emerging back in. Um, right, please.
Next road on your right, please. Now, when approaching this right turn, the signal was too early and there's traffic behind us. So you want to make sure you signal accordingly. When turning right, Ariel deals with the oncoming car really well. Now they're approaching too fast and we couldn't see them early as the road ahead is on a curve. Always make sure to look ahead before you turn right, especially when the road ahead is on a bend. Once in the new road, Ariel doesn't waste any time in first gear. She speeds up, making good progress and working her way through each of the gears. And if you could pull in and park up on the left anyway, don't worry about the drives on this occasion. So I'm going to give you a series of directions to follow from here. Yeah. So as we go down this road, when you get to the first roundabout, turn left, left. And then at the traffic lights, turn right. Okay, left and right. Yep, so left okay. at the roundabout, and then right at the traffic lights. Okay. Okay. Whenever you're ready. When following directions as part of your independent driving, it is not about memory. Be sure to ask the examiner if you're unsure where you're going. The only time they won't tell you is when you're already committed to taking a particular turn. So be sure to look out for road markings and follow the marking. If you go the wrong way, that is not a problem. When approaching this roundabout to make a left turn, Ariel keeps the wheel fairly straight as she's looking across towards the right. She needed to follow the pavement round towards the left. Her right side tyre was very close to the island on the inside.
Okay, so we're back on track now, okay? Okay. So Kingston? Yeah. Okay. So follow the road signs and then go towards Kingston. As we get to the end of this junction to turn left, Ariel needs to come out of the road and then see a left as we've got a fairly sharp corner on the left hand side. But she started to turn immediately as we came out of this junction causing the back tyre to go over the kerb so she gets marked down for this. It was a fairly low kerb so that's why it was not a serious fault. So we're currently following signs towards Kingston and this puts us into the middle lane as there's a bus lane on the left hand side of us. As we drive up on this road the van driver that's in the right hand lane gets too close to us. Ariel realises straight away and adjusts her position and maintains calm in this situation. As the lane is fairly narrow you want to make sure you don't swerve in the opposite direction to get away from them. Did you see where Kingston was? No. It was on the last signboard. It's ahead, third exit. Third exit, straight. Yeah. Traffic light control, it's alright. So what I want you to do now is to just turn right past that tree. Yeah. And now I'd like you to reverse back into a space of your choice. Make sure you finish within the white lines of the parking bay. Pick either side. Whilst carrying out this reversing exercise, Ariel's looking all around whilst keeping the car really slow using clutch control. So initially, she's looking in her side mirrors, she can see the white line that's right next to her and we're going into the space perfectly. But as we go fully into the space, the white line that she can see is actually for the parking bay that's directly behind us. And the parking bays behind us are slightly staggered so they are not in line. So when she's looking in the mirror, she notices the white line is quite far away from her, which makes her think she's not in the space properly. At this point, if you're not sure how you've parked, you can secure the car and open the door to check where the white line is. Mm, a bit slant. Okay, 
those pants. Can I readjust? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm not in the pain. Okay, what have gone for? That'd be great though, thank you. Okay. Secure the car. That's really bad, look at the car. Okay. And you can switch off the engine. Thank you, that's the end of your driving test. Okay. How was your drive? It was okay. You don't like your parking? I'm not even, I'm in the middle of two bays. You're actually perfectly in the space and you were the first time as well. Really? Yeah. Huh? Because the bays here and there, they're misaligned. Oh, am I okay So then? if you open the door to check. Oh, I'm a bit to you're, the you're left, in the... <laughs> but I'm in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, All right, so that's there. the end of your test. That would be a pass. Really? That was a really nice drive. Great. Okay, there's only a few things here and there, but it was a really nice drive. There, again, wasn't much going on. So a few things I want to talk about. Hesitation. Yeah. So at the very beginning, when we came out of here, mm. prolonged. And then that right turn, where that car was coming towards you and you were like, oh, I could have gone, he's too slow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely hesitation again there. Besides that, you're very confident um, getting up to the speed maintaining the speed checking your surroundings all of that stuff really nice um you did get a, a minor for your control on steering okay. you know when you make that left turn and the back tire yeah. yeah yeah besides that there was another point where your right side tire the front right tire was concerning for me it didn't hit but it just got really close to the curb um this okay. is when we were making a left turn on a roundabout you know the independent driving mm. so we're making a left turn and then a right turn at the lights. Yeah. That left turn, you should have followed the pavement round. Because you're looking at the car, you kept very straight and then you were very close oh, to the okay. edge. But it's not, it didn't hit or touch or anything, so it wasn't a major. Okay. But you could have dealt with that with. Yeah. Better. Yeah. But you know, on the roundabout going to Kingston, yeah. was I not meant to put a right signal? You were going 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. So I was a. I didn't have to indicate left no. when I left. Well, you, the the left indicator, it'll be good if you put it on as you're leaving. Mm. But because your lane didn't allow you to go anywhere else, yeah. there was nothing wrong with the fact okay. that you came off without a signal. But you okay. didn't need a right signal, no. Okay. Yeah? That van was really close to you. you I checked your position. Your position was great. He was just distracted. Yeah. But you saw him That's and you kind of... sped up a bit. To kind of get away. That yeah. was good. That was good. Um, any other points you want to mention? Any other bits you were concerned about? No, I'm really happy. Yeah, that was a really nice drive. <laughs> Thank you. Now that's good. Bay parking, you know what's funny? That first attempt was perfect. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't even do any reference point, I just went with it. You went perfectly into the space, but because you're looking behind and then you're looking in front, that confused you. Yeah. Because the, the, the bays behind us, they're slightly out. I don't even know why they've done It's probably because of the tree. I don't know why mm. they've done this, but um, yeah, that's what confused you. So you should have just kind of opened the door to check if you're un if you're Is not that sure. Out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. All right. Well, I forgot really to happy. do a uh, show me question. <laughs> oh yeah. I forgot to ask a question on the door. My bad. 
Okay guys, that is the end of another mock test. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Um, you did really well. It was a nice Thank drive, you. honestly, right from the start. I'm really happy. Yeah. Good luck with your test Thank and you. let us know how it goes. Will do, yeah. Uh, that's coming up in a few weeks time so you guys will find out too, don't worry. But yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe. Bye!